Hello and welcome to Timmy Horton Outdoors. We got a special feature today, the Timmy Horton High School Bass Anglers Challenge. One thing that's near and dear to my heart is getting these kids, getting them out fishing. When they can get a day of competition, it's even cooler. You guys stay tuned. Hey guys, be sure and check out Alabama Custom Cabins at alabamacustomcabins.com. We've got them right here on our property at Willow Oak. The clients that stay here absolutely love it. And hey, right here's a little touch of Willow Oak Lodge. This is the Disney World if you love to hunt and fish. You know, we have enormous deer here inside our preserve. Just unbelievable action to watch these deer out in nature and what they do. We enjoy having guests. So guys, come hang out with us. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can go to visitwillowoak.com to get more information. You are watching Timmy Horton Outdoors, presented by Alabama Custom Cabins. Customizing your lifestyle and trocar hooks, surgically sharpened technology. Hey, here we are ready to blast off the 2019 Timmy Hort High School Bass Anglers Challenge. I got Trent and Eric from Phil Campbell High School. Now you guys are always doing a lot of charity stuff. You guys, your team is awesome in helping with our fishing for kids and everything. But this is a little different this morning. Got the juices flowing. What's the game plan? Uh, put your heads down, fish hard. You know, it's tough out there. Keep your head down. Past week, you know. Yeah. I think they said 15 pounds won it last week, so it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be all day thing. So gotcha. Just fish hard. Now I'm gonna ask you, you know, you hear that 15 pounds won, that's a lot of strategy that we do is looking ahead seeing what's happening in any events what does that do for your game plan today knowing that you guys are fishing as a team for five fish trying to reach that that threshold uh, hearing that there was 15 pounds down here last week and that gives us confidence knowing that we're going to get out there put our heads down and catch good fish hopefully and that's what we're looking forward to out here anything today. can happen anything can happen and hey that big fish is paying a thousand dollars today i tell you the phil camel team's ready and anything can happen Hey guys, we're here getting ready for blast off. We've had people travel a long distance. Dan, I think y'all took the cake, man. Uh, How far did you come from? Uh, Minnesota, uh, about 15 hour drive to get down here. That so. is awesome. Hey, you brought some of the weather with you, that's obvious. Uh, we Thanks have, for making it feel like home. Yeah, hey, it, it is. So uh, tell me, you know, I mean, I think it's really cool to see the parents get involved and everyone. You take a look, you see this on the calendar and say, hey, I think we can make it. Tell me about that strategy and what you guys made that decision to come down here. You know, we got a couple boys that are uh, just love fishing. Certainly the weather starts to get too cold up there to make it work. So looked at the calendar, looked at the schedule and said, hey, we can make this work. If they want to fish in college, fish in the south, they got to learn how to fish this stuff. I love it, man. This is this is what it's all about. Seeing these uh, these parents, the grandparents, all the different people getting these kids out, getting them fishing. Dan, you guys made the trip. We're awful glad to have you here, man. Well, happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this day. We're thankful that we live in a country where we can get out and participate in events like this. And, and we're so thankful for our freedom and the soldiers fighting overseas to protect us. And Father, we're thankful for great, great people with great hearts, the Culver County Tourism, and all of the group that's involved in this and, and helping a great day out on the water for these high school anglers. And, and again, Father, we're just thankful for all that you do for us. God, guard and direct us in Christ's name, amen. All right, guys, everybody ready to fish? Man, I'd love to have been on a boat like this in high school. Everyone, <laughs> good luck, guys. Today's Habitat Enhancement segment is presented by American Fish Tree, engineered for a lifetime of fishing fun. Hey, we're standing here by an American Fish Tree tree. This is one of the coolest things you'll see. They're American made. But the biggest thing is they have a hook on them if you want to fish boat docks. If you're not fishing boat docks, take the hook off. And what I mean by boat docks, people have their own docks. They want to put uh, brush piles around it, different things. This is tenfold better than a brush pile. I'm going to tell you why. Guys, no worth to hang up. Hooks are not going to pre penetrate the PVC, not going to penetrate the plastic. No grooves. You're always getting hung in limbs, in the Vs of the limbs, or any of the bark or fleshy material that a hook is going to hang in. That is the most important thing. Think about catching crappie or bass out of this and being able to work a jig all the way through there, banging into it with a crankbait without getting hung up. And more importantly, guys, it's going to last a lifetime. Put brush piles out, you get about two years out of them. How about putting several of these in your fishing hole? They're going to be there for years to come. Know the fish habitat, and it's going to help you catch more fish. You know, 
we've been doing this high school tournament along with the Culver County Tourism for many years now. And it's always cool to see these anglers and more importantly, how they're adapting and how they're adjusting and how much better you see these kids during the seventh, eighth, ninth grade when they become juniors and seniors, how much better anglers they are, how competitive they are. And we've had a lot of guys, we've been giving away now over $140,000 in scholarships through this event. And I'm gonna tell you, I've had a lot of fun with it. This one was no exception. And uh, it's just really cool. But I want to tell you guys about our scenario. You know, with Kim and I, we really value getting our kids outdoors. We're right here on, on the shores of one of the ponds at Willow Oak Lodge. And one of our favorite things to do is get our kids out fishing. And you can't start them young enough. You know, if they're three, four, five years old, get them out, put their life jackets on in the boat, obviously. And, uh, and let them play in the minnow bucket. Let them explore nature. You know, one of my best memories of a kid uh, or, or having my kids out fishing was when I had Lauren when she was about probably four years old. And we were back in this cove and I said, look, Lauren, that, that, that blue heron is back there fishing too. She said, but daddy, I don't see his fishing rod. And just those memories that, that excite and, and, and have fun, we go back and we look at old photos and some of our best memories have been out with a rod and reel in hand. Hey, we just pulled up on Nick and Neil Strickland from Sullivan High School. Nick, what you guys got going? Uh, right now we're having kind of a slow day, but we uh, we got one keeper in the box. So we're just trying to grind it out right now and get a few more keepers in there. Is the keeper you got? Is it small mouth or large mouth? Large mouth. Large mouth, good uh, deal. Pound and a half. Now we got some really, uh, you know, it's probably the toughest conditions you can get. We got bluebird skies, first real cold front of the year. Do you think that's affected the fish some so far? Oh yeah, so far it's definitely put a toll on our fishing right now. All right, Neil, now we got a big fish prize of $1,000 in this contest. Does that keep you going throughout the day knowing that that can happen on any cast? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, like I said, uh, Pickwick's known for big fish, so I mean, you can, I mean, you can catch a 15-pounder, pounder, I mean, They're in any here. cast. I mean, yeah. They're I in mean you just got to uh, keep grinding and nonstop. So that's all it takes. I like what you guys are doing. I see some current coming around the bridge pilings and these big barge ties right here. You're, you're fishing a pattern that's known to catch really big smallmouth. I mean, we got seven, eight pound smallmouth in this lake. Is that what you're targeting right here, a smallmouth, or you catch some largemouth here as well? Uh, largemouth too, yes, sir. Mixed in right here. I got you. Well, we're going to let y'all get at it, and uh, best of luck to you. Thank you. Hey, we've come up here on Brody Williamson. He's right here at the mouth of Cane Creek. And he's working a lot of the hydrilla. It's got a lot of this matted vegetation on it. This is a good call right here with a frog. He's from Mars Hill Bible School. He's doing the right thing. So Brody, how's the day going so far? Good so far. We caught a couple uh, little ones at the beginning of it. Caught them on a uh, crankbait. Uh, caught a largemouth this morning. He wasn't big enough at all. Couple, missed a couple on crankbait. Caught some spots, you know, and nothing big enough. Gotcha. Right now we're kind of getting a little desperate, just fishing some grass. Just missed a pretty big one right back there, yeah. I like it. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, I like what he's got going here. This vegetation is how you're gonna catch a big one. He's fishing a technique that if he gets bit, it's gonna be the right one. It's early in the day, and I expect with this cold front coming in, the afternoon bite is gonna be a lot better. Good luck to you, Brody. Now, some of the tips I can give you, it depends on the level that the anglers are at. A lot of these high school kids are very advanced, but one of the tips I can give you when you're getting kids out fishing, it's not a place, if you're a tournament angler and you're getting your kids out for the first time to go out and practice for a tournament, you know, this is about a, a cork, a, you know, live bait, uh, brim beds. Having those having those uh, kids have a lot of action in the boat is important. Uh, their attention span is not as big as when you thoroughly enjoy it the way we do. So those are some of the tips. And then find a place like a farm pond. We all know a lot of people uh, try to get access to some if you don't have access. A lot of public lakes have places you can pull down by the uh, by a ramp or a pier that are designated. Ask around. Go into the local tackle stores and, and go into your local bass pro shops. Find those guys in the green shirts and say, hey, you know, I'm wanting to get my kids out fishing. Where's a place that I can go access public fishing and get them outdoors? There's nothing like watching a court go underwater and watching a kid and his sense of wonder of fighting that fish in. They're gonna be laughing. They're gonna be grinning ear to ear. There's all kind of resources out there available. Get online, do some search and, and find those places to be able to take those kids fishing. Stay tuned for more fish catching action here on Timmy Horton Outdoors, presented by Motor Guide. The tour is back. And by Fish Monkey Gloves. Gloves for every situation. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, 
You need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick and GMC dealer.